Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play Through series for The Surge 2. This is part 21. So, <laughs> we have been struggling. We've had like uh, the last episode, we got introduced to the boss and we've been trying to uh, learn the boss fight. So we spent about uh, half an hour doing that. Um, so we're going to continue. Continue from the spot. I feel like we're getting r really close to defeating him. Um, I might have a little juggle around with my implants to see if I can change anything to help us improve. Um, so like these don't upgrade at all, I don't think. Check. Can, uh, so this is implants, so we can only upgrade these ones. Um, is there anything that could help us out here? Quite possibly. And uh, generally use one battery to grant a burst of stamina increase stamina regeneration for a short time. That could be good. That could be very good. Um let's upgrade some of these. We had pre-charge at med bay. Max P charges. Can't upgrade that anymore. Um Inject will use one battery to increase defense by a small amount for a long time. Um could try and ah, sort of run out of things. Uh, injectable that uses one battery to remove all nano build up and increase nano defense for a long time. That <laughs> this this might be uh, okay to use as well. The only problem is, what do I swap them out for? Uh, I can't need my direct shore block to see. Uh, what, well, they only do from side to side, but it's still really helpful to have on there. Uh, automatically consumes battery to pre-charge the currently selected injectable implant right before it will run out. So how do we get to that uses one battery to restore health? So I'm just wondering like if it it goes on there before it runs out. Does all the excess battery that we generate after that go into these? Who knows? Increase energy gain and gain small amount of health when a battery is filled. Uh, that could be pretty good to use here. It really increases energy gain but it decreases defense. No thanks. Well, health is low, stamina regeneration and energy gain are increased. What do I have? Poor efficiency, oh, so we can take that one out. Not going to be useful here. Yeah. Increases defense and stability or uh, charging a charge attack. Um, no, 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 no. I might take that one out for now. Critical power. The directional block. Uh, automatically consumes battery to pre-charge. Keep that one in there. Um, I haven't really used my drawing too much on this. Um, Raises damage out to nanite enemies. It's only 10% or 10%. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be good. Or, I mean, obviously, for this fight, it would be okay. It just depends if there's anything else I could use on there. Twenty-five percent increased da uh, yeah damage when health is low. That's on elemental. Eight percent increased damage. I think I might. What was the other one? Increase the energy gain and gain a small amount of health when the battery is filled. 10% energy gain and 20 health. Um, is that going to be that great? When an enemy attack is successfully directly blocked, damage is increased for a short time. Um, that, would, <laughs> that could be good as well. I'm going to go with this for now. It's stroke by energy is energy. Um to see if this makes a difference at all in this fight. Uh, 
Where we go with that? Uh, okay, <clears throat> let's see how this one plays out. Okay, this is so far not so good. I've kind of like lost. I've completely lost my timings for this. Uh, we're going to pick ourselves up from this, this isn't too much. We haven't lost out on too much, uh, too much battery just yet. We'll get some of those blocks in. Those blocks will help a lot. Do that. I get a noise. Uh, that was the wrong direction. Probably should have gone for the hit there instead. I might have, might have made it. Anyway, let's see. This guy's going to jump out. We'll try to get a timed attack. Wondering if we can. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully, that should avoid some. Uh, Okay, this is the big boy. <laughs> That's that weird move that he does. Well, I don't want to run in there because there's like nano damage. Let's try it. Okay, 
Okay, I am getting battered. That nano damage is a lot. <clears throat> Bloody swing a scout there. What the hell is he doing now? I thought I was clear of that. Have we got anything else we can use? Uh, nope. Alright, let's get out of there. It's nano damage. Man. Alright, um, run away. It's gonna trap me into a corner. Then we've got a bit of blocking to do next. Oh, we can't recover from that. It just completely like get back, recover. of the Delva. Ah, oh, nice. <clears throat> so, finally, we managed to do it. <coughs> oh, thank God for that. So, it didn't turn out to be too bad. It's just kind of... kind of waiting, just kind of picking your time to attack. And then, yeah, just wait until it's clear, basically. Um, yeah, that, like that. Um, like this game does such a good job of like uh, building up bosses, like so much. Well, uh, that last one, anyway. Kind of been getting progressively harder. That one just had like three phases, three energy bars, um, with a few mechanics to learn. And it just it feels like an end boss. It feels like an epic battle. Another weapon. They just seem to like throw weapons at you. It's like a, a heavy. Whoa, that was a nice slide. Um, okay, so let's head back up to the top. It's coming under the waterfall here. The 
this is the one that we got from the... This one feels good. Leave that guy for now. Okay, let's go. Let's go level up. Any more? Any more levels? Not quite. Almost at 50. Um, where are we going? Where are those two gone? Kind of like ran away. Where have they gone? Let's see if this guy knows. I ain't in a talking mood. <laughs> no. <clears throat> okay. So they've just like abandoned their posts. We don't know where they are. They could be anywhere. What would have unlocked? Um, I'm wondering what that noise was then, but it's the. Uh, Been doing this, I don't know. Family tree, just about to die. I've forgotten how to kill, take on these guys. Nothing else that opens up there. We don't really have to. Want to go up that way? I just want to go. I just want to try and level up. Um. Now what happens I think, uh bring the nano brain into Gu Gutenberg. Okay, alright, so the three towers. That looks like he's in the uh technology building just up ahead. So we are um, gonna take out this thing. Yeah, I think I've found my weapon anyway. This beast. Nice, I feel like it's got like medium... Like... Medi medium capabilities, I mean it doesn't, doesn't feel like it takes too long to execute. Wanted to see... I don't think I can tell from down here. That door's still closed. Gotta be some kind of... Like shortcut that opens up from somewhere. Um, let's just go up here. We are Institute of Technology. It's that boss. I really enjoy that boss. Um, it wasn't like super difficult, but it wasn't too easy either. And just uh, the last bit was a bit of cheese. Cheese it was just kind of like move out, move in, kind of thing. Wait until he attacks and then just run up and counter. I can probably do my uh, switch my things back as well. Who's damage out some nanite enemies? You can go. 
Reduce energy gain and gain a small amount of health. So we wanted the... I remember which, <laughs> which one we had equipped now. is the one that increased. Um, this amount of energy gain. Energy. I can't remember what, what it was. Uh, I'm going to have to... Gotta go through these at a different time because there's one that increased. Um, tech scraps, I think. Oh no, it's a uh, finishes. Um, increased defense will charge in. And uh, gain health back on finishes. I think those are the ones that we had. Well, I'll leave that on for now. It's not a biggie. Um, okay. We've got this down here. Oh, I need to talk to you. Hey, I don't, wait. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> um, oh, I thought battery charge. Elevator and a chest. Some more tech. Let's see what is up this way. Didn't buy these. Graffiti marks, nothing. Okay, um, I'm melting with some fire. I'm only assuming that it's gonna be a fire. I need to talk to you. Oh, I need to talk to you. I'm sure, you do. Okay. Welcome to the please proceed. Welcome to the cre please proceed to the lab. I won't be able to contain the security corruption much longer. Hmm. Security corruption, eh? It's a guy. The guy. Okay. Oh, Let's not be sexist here. scraps. They just say like leaving combat zone and entering combat zone. That's got to be something we fight soon, right? So bloody... Making sure I'm not missing anything in this game. Um, okay. Let's see where we are. It's an elevator. Whoa. Look, 13 floors. Laboratory. 13th floor. Have we got to like, fight our, our way all the way down? be interesting. Warning. Unusually high nanite levels detected. Security protocols activated. Initiating lockdown immediately. It is gonna come to life. Large cash, I'll take that. 
You just know those are going to come back alive on our way back down. Um, a little look around here. Damn, Gutenberg. Security lockdown. What the hell is going on? Oh, of course. You must be that hunter Harold keeps blathering on about. Looks like you've salvaged the nano brain. My scanners went haywire when you barged in here. Your nanite readings are way off the charts. Quite peculiar, isn't it? You seem in perfect health. I don't think you're infected with defrag or anything like that. You're quite the enigma, my friend. Luckily, I consider myself a mystery solver. I have to be. I created this whole mess and only I can stop it. Tell me, have you noticed anything unusual about yourself lately? Wait. <coughs> Impossible. I thought I was the only one. I've been seeing the strangest things ever since Athena, my granddaughter, perished in a plane crash. I thought my grief was playing tricks on my mind. Interesting. I met her. I was on flight 221. Then you must be the survivor they mentioned on the news. Even after everything, I still hoped it was Athena. But why would you sense her presence? Something about this doesn't add up. Talk to me. I saw her memory. Hunters turned her over to AID. What? Athena is alive? And you can sense her that clearly? I've never been able to make out even one blasted thing. It's like there's a thick fog between us. Poor kid must have been out there all along. Trying to reach me. And I failed her. I hired those damn hunters only to have them stab me in the back. AID have been scouring the whole city for kids. Pretending they found a cure for defrag. I don't believe those ignorant fools for a second. If there were even the faintest whiff of a remedy, I would have discovered it long before them. Uh, you can't see the echoes? Apparently not. If you can, there seems to be a much stronger connection between the two of you. I just don't understand what it could be. Athena and I are family. We share the same genetic code. You're nothing but a stranger she met by happenstance. Sorry, no offense. We have to save her. I'm glad you agree. I've been isolated up here for far too long. Apart from Harold, you seem to be my only ally. If we want to rescue Athena, we have to strike without warning. They must be keeping her at their R&D facility with all those other kids. I used to run Creo, so I have the highest government clearance. Take my key card and talk to Harold. He'll tell you where to go next. In the meantime, I'll deactivate the lockdown manually. Promise to come back once Athena is safe and sound, and I'll find out what's wrong with you. Ah, oh, questions. Um, what can you tell me about Athena? Athena is my only granddaughter. I've never been a family man, though. She hardly knows me. I invited her to visit, so this is all my fault. Thought a change of scenery might do her some good. Now, look what happened. Where's AIT command? Somewhere <clears throat> downtown. That's about as much as I remember. It's been ages since I even set foot outside CIT. Harold should be able to point you in the right direction. His memory has been failing lately, but he's still an invaluable resource. So. <clears throat> you know a lot about nanites. <laughs> Only everything. They wouldn't even exist without me. I'm responsible for this mess, and I'll be the one to fix it. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm not doing this because I enjoy it. I'm doing it because nobody else can. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now 
Gutenberg's key card. All right. Um, find Athena at AID command. Interactive database. This is your first time using the Creo Institute of Technology database. Please consult our archives at your own convenience. But please note, excessive use will be reflected in your final grade. Yeah. That's the history. Founded by evangelical leader Adrian Sinclair, Jericho City has blossomed from a small coastal town into a burgeoning metropolis. Once infamous for an unfortunate chain of mass suicides, Jericho is now synonymous with opportunity. The nearby Creo campus has created countless work opportunities for ambitious job seekers. In the meantime, the local government is committed to curbing unemployment with innovative resettlement measures and attractive retirement packages. Uh, quarantine and evacuation. As of now, no one has found the source of the nanomachines spreading worldwide at an unprecedented pace. Most experts agree that the catastrophe started somewhere in or around Jericho. Leading nanomachine manufacturer Creo continues to deny responsibility. <sighs> Thank you for using the official <coughs> CIT archives. Please tell your friends about the service. <coughs> um, okay, so they all. Welcome back, visitor. Consult our Creo slash nanoscience database at your own convenience. Oh, interesting. Company history. 2045 on the outskirts of Jericho City. Creo has grown into the world's number one neural interface supplier over the last few decades. Since then, our business has expanded to include space technology, pharmaceuticals, genetic engineering, food production, infrastructure, architecture, and interactive erotica. Um, company status. In late 2078, Creo's headquarters suffered a fatal blow. A devastating terror attack short-circuited the company's security systems, creating an almost cataclysmic chain of events. As of now, the Creo facility is out of commission until further notice. Several figures in the international scientific community have raised suspicion about the unusual amount of nanite residue found at the Creo campus. Creo's PR outlet has flatly denied the allegations with the statement, We don't comment on innuendo and smear campaign. Creo's greatest minds are working around the clock to return the company to its former strength and help humanity recover from the current crisis. Company founder. Over a third of our country's GDP is currently tied, either directly or indirectly, to Creo's operations. Company founder Jonah Gutenberg resigned from all positions connected to Creo for unexplained reasons. Leading an increasingly reclusive lifestyle, he has been teaching advanced nanite technology at the Creo Institute of Technology, CIT, ever since. Uh, all right. A little bit of history for you guys. And for me as well. Friends about our service. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like... This guy is familiar from the first game, but I can't remember like what, uh, where he appeared in it, or obviously he is like the reason that this is all going on. Um. Okay, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's been running on for quite a while. We killed the boss. We came to this place, and we found out a bit more information about what is going on and where we need to go next. Uh, so we know we need to go and speak to Harold next to find out where the AID base is located. So, uh, all right, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, please uh, click the link and subscribe button buttons at the bottom of this video. Um, if you wish to leave any comments, please do so, whether they're positive or negative. Any feedback is good feedback. And hopefully I will see you guys again in the next video. Take care.